Let's move on to the Sunday slate, gentlemen. Which spread are you liking for week one? Pierce. I love the Colts plus two and a half. If you can get it up to three, which I think it's going to go in that direction, then take it. Seattle, their, their explosive offense, it does really well against man-to-man coverage. Indianapolis plays a zone, so I don't see DK Metcalf really breaking out in this game. Russell Wilson scrambling. He's not going to be as effective against his zone defense. Seattle's defense also has question marks as well. So what's the deal with this game? It's just people overreacting to Carson Wentz not playing in the preseason. Aaron Rodgers isn't playing in the preseason. Quarterbacks rarely play in the preseason. What are we talking about? The Colts have a great offensive line. They've got a great coach, pretty good defense, plenty of offensive weapons. They're at home. Uh, the reports say that Wentz looks good in practice. I don't understand this. I love the Colts plus two and a half. If I can get three, I'll take it. All right, AJ. I, I agree with Pierce. I, I like that line as well. But for me, look, maybe I'm overvaluing the Jags a little bit. But Jacksonville minus two and a half, I think it's a great spot. Look, this this Houston team is a nightmare. They are going to be bad this year. There's no doubt about it. Uh, Tyrod Taylor is their starting quarterback. That's problem number one. Their best defensive player left in the offseason. Literally every good player on this Texans team usually leaves after a year or two. So they are going to be absolutely terrible. The Jags seem to have found uh, the quarterback they need finally in in Trevor Lawrence. Look, for me, I honestly think you're good giving up a a full touchdown here. You can get uh, the Jags minus 6.5 for plus 170 value. I think that is a phenomenal spot to get – some really good value because this Houston team is just going to be awful.